Hi, it's Chris Hawes, and we are back in downtown Ottawa, footsteps from the Peace Tower. And we are joined by not only the executive director of Festivals Ottawa, but a bit of a, a, a rhythm and jazz kind of chicky. And I don't, I, I said chicky, I, I, I guess in today's environment I shouldn't say that, but, <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm 90. So, Clearly. Yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm still living in that era, <laughs> era when I say that. So so tell me about yourself. I I, I, I kind of introed with that that you you are a dancer I am. and a festival person. So let's I talk am. about dance. Well, uh, yeah. So I've been dancing since I've been five and uh, lived the life of performer, choreographer, producer, dancer, studio owner. And uh, yeah, a couple of years ago, I really just started to really miss the uh, tap in my life. And yeah. I uh, set aside some time to really just focus on bringing tap to the people of Ottawa through the Ottawa Rhythm Initiative. The Ottawa Rhythm Initiative. The Ottawa Rhythm and, Initiative, And yep. so what if, what if you have no rhythm? Is my, you, know. you know what? Jimmy Slide said, I think it was Jimmy Slide. Forgive me, Jimmy, if it's not you. But if you can walk, you can dance. And that's really, you know, that's really all that it is. You, you have, everyone has a heartbeat. Everyone has yeah. the pulse of life. And so if you can find that, then you have rhythm, my friend. Well, I have an arrhythmia. Oh, well, that's good. You have extra rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> little, little. Exactly. Uh, so we were talking about this yes, because sir. tap dancing is something I've always wanted to do from the time I was a little kid. But when I was growing up in Northern Ontario in a mining town, guys did not tap dance. Wait, stop right there. What mining town did you work, live well, just, in? Uh, well, outside of Sudbury. Well, me too. I'm from Sudbury. Are you a Sudbury girl? I'm a Sudbury girl. Really? Where do you play? Where boots? New Sudbury. Really? Danforth Avenue. What about you? I, I'm a Coniston kid. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, high five to the big rock. High Rob. five. I'm a St. Charles guy. I went to Marymount. You went to Marymount. I did, awesome. sir. We may, I may have groped you at a dance. <laughs> we don't even know God. that. Holy cow. Oh, I that would know that and I would not Hormones. Put up with it. Oh, <laughs> man. You know what? We're, now, I, I don't know your, you, you seem a lot younger than I am. Well, probably not that much. But, uh, but when, when I was young, Yep. The St. Charles Marymount dances were the biggest ticket around. They were there indeed. Was thousands of, like, oh, unbelievable people, like, in, in, totally. in a gym. And a friend of mine who has now passed away, Rob Mazzotti, uh, was on student council. And, and Rob used to, they, so they was, okay, you can only print, print up 500 tickets for this. And Rob would print up 500 tickets twice. <laughs> and so there'd be a thousand people at the dance. And it was, it was, it wasn't it the greatest? It was the greatest. It was a really good time, and it was just every. We, we always, you know, we we waited. We counted the days till we could just hang out at the high school dance. Right? And you know what? And if you didn't have somebody by the time Stairway to Heaven came on, you know, it was like, okay, I'm gonna go get the coats. <laughs> exactly. Come on, guys, let's go. You know? <laughs> uh, so that's cool. Now, so tell me about your dance, though. So you left Sudbury. I did. Yeah. Okay. And and you, where did you go to dance? Well, I. Primarily went to Toronto and hung out there yeah. for a while. Yep, yep, and did some work with the National Tap Dance Company of Canada for a little bit, and then uh, yep, came here to go to university, and uh, you know worked and danced and kind of did do a thing for a well, while. Well, you know what? I love. I, I had this dream, like I said, I when I was a kid, of being a song and dance man. Oh, I cool. can neither sing nor dance. What's your favorite song? What is my favorite song? Yep. I. You know what? Stairway to Heaven, clearly. No, 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 no. I, you know what? I'm, I'm actually a swing guy. Cool. Yeah, I'm a swing guy. I, I really like 40s. Excellent. Sinatra. I'm, you know, right I on. started out with Bing Big Crosby. Band. Then I like Dean Martin. Then I like Price nice. Guy. That nice. whole, that whole American standards. Yeah, American uh, standards. That's exactly you know, what tap dance is grounded you know. in. That's our bread and butter, and my friend. Speaking of dancing, Sammy yes, Davis. Sir. Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah. He is my man. You know, one morning sis won't go to her dance class, so I put on her shoes and tights and all that. Awesome. That's right. There you go. Did you hear that? That yeah. was rhythm. That was rhythm. I loved it. Now, I'm, uh, look at me. I'm Gregory Hines. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, uh, well, you know what? What? Tell me about, you do so many things with this initiative. Yes. Uh, and I have so much to talk to you about. Okay. Uh, you guys are performing at Jazz Fest. Yeah, yeah. We just uh, finished uh, our first ever gig with the uh, Ottawa Jazz Fest. So we had uh, 10 performers, 10 members of our ensemble. Yeah. We had two very special guests, Travis Knights and Tanya Rivard, who are a tap powerhouse. They were world renowned. We we're very lucky. Speaking about Gregory Hines, Travis has performed with Gregory. So, yep. And uh, we had wow. a kick, uh, kick butt band. We had France, uh, the Francois Garavel Trio. And we worked with two amazing local 
singers Rebecca Noel and Mackenzie DeVillo. So we had like the cream of the crop on that stage tonight. We we're well, pretty proud awesome. of ourselves. And I and I'm sorry that I missed it. I was I was setting you up. You were hanging here. out here on your I was hanging bed out truck. here. So do you, are, do you have any other performances during Jazz Fest? Or uh, is that it? Not during Jazz Fest, no, but we are performing with the Toronto Rhythm Initiative, our sister uh, okay. initiative. They're coming up to hang out with us for a week. We're gonna do some great cool jazz stuff and rhythm stuff. And then we're on stage at the um, art uh, arts not the art center, but the um, Oh my gosh, the Art Court Theater, yes, oh, Arts on Court July, Theater, yeah, yeah July 28th. Yes, July 28th at yep. Arts Court Theater. Yes. Well, I, you know what? I will try to be there. Awesome, well, I hope you will. Yeah, you know what? Because there's nothing better than watching, you know, li one, listening to good music, but two, people dancing. I wish we had a Copa. A Copa town. Cabana? Like, you know, an old, you know, or... I wish that too, and it might be coming, so keep your keep your ears to the ground on that I'll one. I'll keep my ears to the ground? Is there a yeah. Copa coming? There, there maybe might be. not a Copa. Not Keep your ears to the ground. That's all I'm going to tell you. Room. We'll call oh, it a Tropicana room. That would be great. I can see it now. Yeah. So that could be our next festival. Okay, I'm so loving as, it. So as the executive director, I'm changing the subject completely now. I'm ready for the you. The executive director of Festivals Ottawa. Yep. What, what do you do? What does that do? <sighs> well, I support the people that run festivals. That's what the Ottawa Festivals do, does every day. We make okay. sure that, um, you know, the people that run festivals, uh, you know, are supported through things like marketing and okay. advocacy and, uh, you know, we, we, we help to ensure, like we do bridge funding. We do all the sort of ancillary work that helps them thrive and survive and so that and they can, they can like do this. And you use words like ancillary, which yes. is amazing, actually. Yes. For a girl University from Maryland, Green. man. I'm telling you. Uh, so what is the, like, the, the big up-and-coming festival for Ottawa? And I know there's a whole bunch of them. There's there Ribfest, Ribfest. Rib but yep. what's the big up and coming one? Well, I think uh, we've got Latin Sparks who've been doing okay. some great work uh, around town. They've really grown quickly over the last five years. Yeah. They've, they've gone from 50 to 7,000 people. And in fact, they are- 50 to 7,000? Yes, in about five wow. or six years. And they're actually um, uh, operating in Toronto this year for the first time. So they're taking cool. their model and dropping it in. Yeah, Capital Ukrainian Festival, another festival that's just had a, you know, Yeah. Skyrocketing sky attendance. Well, that's yeah. because they have great pet ahead. They do, man. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't beat the pet ahead over there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So. And and so, what about West Fest? West Fest. Holy cow, Elena Martin. That woman is and a And guess rock where star. she's from? Is she from Sudbury she's too? She's from Coniston. Get out of town! Yes, yes. I gotta talk to her when yeah. I say. Yeah. That's amazing. She's a Coniston yeah. girl. I mean, solid. And you know, they had yeah. a whole Aboriginal focus with their with yeah. their music this year. So good on you, Elena Martin. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. You know what? Shout out to the Sudbury people. Shout out to them. Yeah. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure, Carolyn. It's been lovely. You know what? We'll we'll talk after this, All right. but we, we, i got to go. Okay, well, i got to okay. go, too. I'll shuffle off to Buffalo. You're going to shuffle off to Buffalo. Yes, I will. Okay. Uh, this has been Chris Haas. This has been Flatbed Tonight. We'll be back.